good morning friends it's a continuation of pde here the lagrange equation we are solving by method of multipliers already we seen the uh, we already discussed two problems in the last class in the last session now continuation the third problem the given problem is x into y square minus z square into p plus y into z square minus x square into q equal to z into x square minus y square in this given problem the capital p equal to x into y square minus z square the capital q equal to y into z square minus x square the capital r equal to z into x square minus y square by using this three you are going to form the axillary equation dx by x into y square minus z square equal to dy by y into z square minus x square equal to dz by z into x square minus y square the last video itself i told you are selecting the th uh, set of multipliers the multipliers called the lagrangian multiplier the multiplier should make uh, the denominator as a zero like that only we are going to choose a set of multipliers the multipliers may be constants or may be the what variable now we consider the first set of multipliers the first set of multipliers or x comma y comma z so if you are going to multiply with this multiplier that makes the denominator as a zero now dx plus dy plus dz divided by here the first one you are going to multiply with what x the second one you are going to multiply with y the third you are going to multiply with z so, x into x x square into y square minus x square into is a square plus second we are going to multiply with what y uh, numerator y the simultaneous we are going to multiply the denominator also y y already we have y into y y square y square into is a square minus y square into x square plus the third one we are going to multiply with is that numerator already we multiply with z the same way we are going to multiply with the z to the denominator also so already we have z z into z z square is a square into x square minus is a square into y square equal to k now here plus x square into y square here minus y square into x square that will get cancelled the second part is minus x square into is a square here the plus is a square into x square third one is plus y square into is a square here minus is a square into y square now the denominator becomes zero zero goes right side zero into k becomes zero you are getting the numerator like x into dx plus y into dy plus z into dz equal to zero so by integrating by integrating the result is x into dx integration of x x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to c1 because we are doing the word indefinite integration in the system we are putting the constants on the right side c1 now we are taking the 2 as a common denominator 2 goes right side 2 into c1 become again the c1 because c1 is an unknown constant so this implies x square plus y square plus z square equal to c1 this is the first part of the solution now similarly we have to select the another three set of multipliers now uh, we are selecting the second set of multipliers the second set of multipliers the multiplier should make the denominator as a zero the reason we are selecting the second set of multipliers or 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z now dx 1 by x into dx numerator we are multiplying with 1 by x here multiply with 1 by y into dy plus 1 by z into dz and denominator we are going to multiply with 1 by x 
1 by x then x into y square minus z square plus 1 by y y into z square minus x square plus 1 by z into z of x square minus y square equal to you are putting constants of k so now here x x will get cancelled y y will get cancelled here z z will get cancelled and you are getting 1 by x into dx plus 1 by y into dy plus 1 by z into dz divided by y square minus z square plus z square minus x square plus x square minus y square equal to k plus y square minus y square minus z square plus z square minus x square plus x square now the total denominator will become 0 0 goes right side 0 into k becomes 0 now you are getting 1 by x into dx plus 1 by y into dy plus 1 by z into dz equal to 0 by integrating this integration of 1 by x log x integration of 1 by y log y plus integration of 1 by z log z equal to the constants will come in terms of log only the right side <coughs> log m plus log n plus log l log m into n into l by applying the condition uh, you can write the equation like log e x into y into z equal to log of c2 log log getting cancelled so x y z equal to c2 this is the second part of the result so combine this to, to result the required equation of PDE is phi of x square plus y square plus z square comma x y z equal to 0. We will continue the fourth question in Lagrangian multiplier. In this given problem x into y square plus z of p plus y into x square plus z of q equal to z into x square minus y square this is given capital p equal to x into y square plus z capital q equal to y into x square plus z and the capital r equal to z into x square minus y square now we are writing uh, like previous uh, what axillary equation dx by x into y square plus z equal to dy by y into x square plus z equal to dz by z into x square minus y square uh, after writing that as the equation we have to select the set of multipliers that makes a denominator as a zero <coughs> yeah the first set of multiplier the first set of multipliers are 1 by x comma minus 1 by y comma 1 by z so now numerator and denominator both we have to multiply with the multipliers here you can write that actual equation subject equation like 1 by x into dx minus 1 by y into dy plus 1 by z into dz divided by 1 by x into x of y square plus z minus 1 by y into y of x square plus z plus 1 by z into z of x square minus y square equal to you are assigning some constant k now x will get cancelled y y and z z you are getting that the next line after cancelling this 1 by dx 1 by x into dx minus 1 by y into dy plus 1 by z into dz divided by y square plus z minus x square minus z 
प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू के नाउ ये प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस इज इट माइनस इज इट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ द टोटल डिनोमिनेटर बिकम जीरो जीरो गोस दैट साइड राइट साइड जीरो इनटू के बिकम जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज वन बाय एक्स इनटू डी एक्स माइनस वन बाय वाई इनटू डी वाई प्लस वन बाय इज इट इनटू डी इट इक्वल टू जीरो बाय इंटेग्रेटिंग दिस वन बाय एक्स इनटू लॉग वन बाय एक्स इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ वन बाय एक्स लॉग एक्स इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ वन बाय वाई लॉग वाई इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ वन बाय इज इट log z equal to log of c1 you can rewrite the equation log of x z by y equal to log of c1 cancelling that log both sides you are getting the first part of the solution x z by y equal to c1 now similarly we are selecting the another second set of multipliers the second set of multipliers or you can choose in this place here x comma minus y comma minus 1 this three you are selecting a second set of multipliers this multipliers only makes the denominator as a Zero. Now here with the first one we chosen as x, x into dx. Second is y minus y into dy. Third one is just minus one, minus into dz divided by x. Already we have here x, x into x, x square into y square plus x square into z. Second we are choosing the minus y. You already we have y, y into y, y square. Minus y square into x square minus y square into z. So the third we selected as a multiplier is so a minus one. Just we are multiplying just minus one. Minus one into z minus z into x square plus z into y square equal to k. Here plus x square y square minus y square x square plus x square z minus z x square. Minus y square z here the plus is a y square. So now the total denominator becomes zero. Zero goes right side. Zero into k become what? Zero. So you are you are getting that after cancellation the denominator x dx minus y dy minus dz equal to zero. Now by integrating. integration of x x square by 2 minus integration of y y square by 2 uh integration of minus dz z equal to c <coughs> you are taking this a common to As a what uh, you are taking two as a common denominator, you can rewrite the equation like x square minus y square minus two z equal to two into c t become because c two is an unknown constant. If you are going to multiply with the two also, you are getting the same c two. Therefore, the result is x square minus y square and minus two z. So combining these two, so these two results, you are getting the final required PDE is pi of x y x z x z by y and x square minus y square minus two z equal to zero. This is the fourth problem in. PDE solving Lagrange's equation by method of multipliers. Now continuation of this, the fifth problem is x is y square plus z square of p minus x y into q 
plus x z equal to 0. In this given problem, the capital P equal to y square plus z square and the capital Q equal to minus x y and the capital R. The R should be always in the right side. If it is comes in this place, you are taking it to right side. That's why the R become minus x z. So that's the equation, the subsided equation of the given problem. dx by y square plus z square, then dy by minus xy, then dz by minus xz. This given problem, again you are selecting that three the set of multipliers. The first set of multipliers that makes the denominator as a zero. The first set of multipliers you can choose the first set of multipliers the first set of multipliers are x y is it uh, the same multiplies when you are going to multiply with the numerator and denominator so ax into dx plus y into dy plus z into dz divided by x into y square plus ax into z square the second part is we have only that x you are multiply with the y so minus x into y square the third one you are going to multiply with the z so minus x into z square equal to k so plus x y square minus x y square plus x is a square here yeah, the minus x is a square so by using this the multiplier the first set of multiplier that makes the denominator as a zero so this implies your result comes x into dx plus y into dy plus z into dz equal to this zero goes rise to zero into k become zero one by integrating the above equation x integration of x x square by two and integration of y y square by 2 and integration of z z square by 2 equal to c1 and uh, by taking that 2 as a common denominator this gives this implies x square plus y square plus z square equal to c1 2 into c1 become the same c1 here c1 is unknown constants now similarly you are selecting the another set of multipliers here if it is possible to make a multipliers to get a multipliers you can select but in this problem the special case you can't select the another set of multipliers the reason to get a second part of the solution you can go for the grouping case also you can use that of grouping grouping method method of grouping uh, here the, if you are going to consider the second and third by grouping what is second given dy by minus xy equal to dz by minus xz here minus x and minus x comes common in both the cases so now integration of dy by y equal to integration of dz by z integration of 1 by y log y integration of 1 by z log z plus log of c2 so log y minus log z equal to log of c2 log m minus log n log m by n equal to log of c2 cancelling the log both sides y by z equal to c2 by combining these two result the final required equation of PDE is pi of x square plus y square plus z square comma y by z equal to zero. So thank you friends. We'll meet soon. In the we'll meet soon in the next class. Thank you.